Hello, Pisces, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of you guys out there are doing well. So, Pisces, this is going to be a career and finance reading from June the 27th through July the 3rd. If something here resonates for you guys, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, so that you can get more career and finance readings. Okay, you guys, I've already shuffled and meditated over your cards, so let's get into this reading. <clears throat> So, Pisces, this is a time that you need to invest in yourself, okay? Invest in yourself to learn the skills that you need to create a thriving business that grows wealth for you. So, some of you guys are thinking about possibly starting your own business, wanting to become an entrepreneur, and this is the time to invest in yourself, okay? Whatever skills that you feel you may need to start this building, whether it be some additional classes, additional education, whatever it is, get there, get those skills, shadow someone, do whatever you have to do in order so that you can start your business and make wealth for yourself. And then when you get to making that money, Pisces, make sure that you give back, okay? Donate to your community causes that are close to your heart. And this is also going to create some type of energy flow for abundance to succeed around you and your business, okay? <clears throat> Let me move this out of the way. Then we have funnel here. This talks about you see at the bottom they have sales. So it's like you're creating a funnel where it leads here then prospects, and then it's all going to lead to sale, which is going to build what? Give you financial security here. And then some of you, hey, you got a lot of things going on right now. And Spirit is saying, just slow down. If you feel like you're overwhelmed right now, slow down, refresh, regroup in order so that you can have the best results here, okay? You're trying to get fast results. You're trying to make sure your business is booming, and that's great. But make sure you take a little time and smell the roses, Pisces, okay? Don't allow yourself to get overwhelmed or overworked. Some of you could be thinking about maybe broadcasting. It's like some of you could have a unique voice. And it's, this talks about get your message out to your ideal audience. Consider starting a, pa a podcast or a radio show, okay? So some of you could be thinking about getting on the air here. And that's the way to get your message out, okay? So whatever your business idea is or whatever you're thinking about, maybe putting this message or getting your new, unique voice out there on the air is the way you're able to build your business here. Then we have Diversify, which talks about maybe going to the blogs, taking photos, making videos, so find a way to market your brand, okay? This talks about sharing your, plat sharing your content on many different diverse platforms. Okay, you guys, so let's pull some tarot here. Let's see what Mr. Spear has for you guys. Well, no, I'm going to start off with this. <clears throat> what messages do you have for my podcast today, Spear? Let's pull some money or up and then we'll get some tarot. What messages do you have for my Pisces today, Spirit, when it comes to their career and finances? June the 27th through July the 3rd. Pisces, career and finances. Okay. What messages do you have for my Pisces today, Spirit, when it comes to their career and finances? Okay, so we first we have always be prepared for the unexpected. So this talks about having, you know, that money put up or some type of funds or something put up for a rainy day. Because we always know that when something unexpected happens, it usually talks about you having to spend some unexpected money, okay? Some of you could be thinking about maybe filing bank bankruptcy here. <clears throat> this could help maybe, you know, if you have a lot of medical bills, student loans, you know, if they're trying to repossess your car or whatever it is you know filing chapter 7 or 13 could be a way to help you and regain you know stability over your finances some of you need to exercise you know take 30 minutes out the day just get out there and walk around get your heart rate increased you know make sure that you are just staying alive staying fresh here so that you can continue to thrive in your business so exercise on keeping your mind fresh keeping your body fresh you know getting out there and get some fresh air get that pump get that blood pumping all right, what message do you have for my Pisces spirit that comes to their career and finances? <clears throat> what messages do you have for my Pisces when it comes to their career and finances? Okay, so we have the four swords. So some of you guys could be back from a vacation or maybe you need to take a break, okay? Because we did have here slow down. So some of you could be feeling overworked and overwhelmed. It's like you're in this four swords energy in reverse. You need to take some time off or maybe some of you... You know, you've been off work too long, but it talks about refusing to take a break. So make sure that you are if you feeling overworked and overwhelmed at this time, Pisces. Make sure that you're taking a break now. All right, what message do you have, Holy Spirit, for my Pisces when it comes to their career and finances? 
Let me see. Half spirit. Okay, so we have the page of scores. This talks about giving or receiving harsh truth. It talks about doing some research, or you could be receiving some type of good or bad news. So let's clarify is this page of scores, spirit. Tell me more about this page of scores for my Pisces spirit. What is this good or bad news or this truth they're going to be receiving? Tell me more about this page of scores for my Pisces. Tell me more about this page of swords energy for my Pisces spirit when it comes to their career and finances. I'm going to have to take this very so. What message do you have my Pisces spirit? What about this page of swords? Okay, so this talks about temperance. Okay, so somebody, maybe a new co-worker here, could be trying to give you some type of harsh truth here or giving you some type of truth here. Uh, maybe you need to research something in order to create some type of new idea. But patience is going to be needed. Whatever this page of swords energy that you're going to receive is good or bad news. It's going to be patience is going to be needed. This could be some information that you're going to receive from a new co-worker. Or whatever it is is going to bring balance to the situation. Tell me more about this page of swords. We, had a seven. we got the seven of cups again. It talks about being overwhelmed, overworked, several options, undecisive. So... Give me one more card, Spirit. Let me clarify this one more time. It sounds like it could be possibly a new job offer. Because we have offered here new ideas. And a book and guide to walk away. Hmm, so some of you could be being guided to walk away or end some type of career here, okay? Because you're overworked, you're overwhelmed here. Because we got that like two or three times. And maybe that's the... the um, Bad news that you could be receiving that maybe this is going to be the end of some type of career. Or maybe you're being guided to walk away from some career. Some of you guys could be going into retirement. Maybe you're undecisive about maybe you should retire at this time. But whatever it is, whether you lose this job or whatever, you're going to have several options, okay? You're going to have offers coming to you. So don't sweat it, Pisces, okay? All right, you guys, that's all I have for you. If something here has resonated, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, Pisces, stay blessed.